Marv, what is it about Penn State that brings us out of here? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think the bigger the game, I, I can't really explain it, man. The bigger the game, I just love those moments, well playing, you know, a great team like that, a great defense, so very exciting to get Jerry threw out a bunch of stats. One of, like, the last two years, it's 20 first downs that you've been doing against this team by yourself. I mean, for the quarterback. Yeah, yeah. Is that, is that number, what does that number say? strike you in the ring. It sounds crazy to say that. I'm just doing my job. I mean, I out there on the field, I'm really, really um, realizing you know, what I'm doing and just, you know, ball comes away, just trying to make a play. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. On Wednesday, you talked about just how disappointed you were in that pass game against Purdue. What was it about that game that you took into this game, maybe, and allowed you to have a game like this today? Um, Keep working hard. Um, there's gonna be ups and downs throughout the whole year. Uh, you really can't get too low, and you know, even a game like this can't get too high afterwards. Uh, you gotta go back to work. You know, at the end of the day, and continue to work hard, and then everything will work out for itself. So many. There have been times the last couple of weeks where you've lined up in the slot, maybe a wheel route yet, but you were kind of in the slot. What? Yeah. It seems like with a mega, that's something you needed to do more of. Is, is that in the case? Yeah, a little bit. We're incorporating that to the offense. Um, just moving me around a lot. A lot. Um, it makes it you know, pretty difficult for the defense to, to kind of guard me there. Um, and then, you know, they had a great corner over there in Kalen King, so it kind of is a man tell. If he, he comes and travels from one side of the field to the other side of the field to guard me slot, so it helps kind of say, oh, okay, obviously they're a man here, and we can you know, go based off that. So uh, that you know, adds a good value to our offense. Was there a lot of chatting with you and Kalen, or is that a pretty quiet battle? Okay. Were you and Kalen chatting a lot in that game? No, no, no. no. Uh, we didn't chat much. We didn't chat much last year. Uh, Jelly was more of a talker last year, but now we have tremendous respect for each other, man. He's a great player. Bob, how much was this offense? Uh, a little bit. We, it was more so they had favoring the safety. Um, we kind of knew they played you know heavy outside leverage going into the game from a man coverage standpoint, but uh, that safety would push to me a little bit. That's why we couldn't really get any deep shots as we wanted to, so a lot of those quick slants or anything like that. How much is this offense feeding off the defense right now? I mean, they're playing tremendous right now. I think uh, Penn State, you know, going to the game, I think they were kind of, they have the best defense in the country. You know, turn their fans, I would say, at least. Um, I think you know, after this game, it's pretty obvious that Ohio State um, has the best defense in the country right now. Uh, Coach Knowles doing a tremendous job. Um, the guy stepping up making plays. Jordan Hancock, Charlton Hill, got a start. Uh, this held down today, so you know, a lot of guys stepped up. I'm super proud of them uh, for the way they you know, continue to work and grow in each and every week. And then what do you see from Kyle kind of sticking with it after somewhat of a slow start today? Yeah, I mean, that's just part of the game. We knew it was going to be a long game. Uh, all all week we were talking about, hey, this game's going to go in the fourth quarter. We're going to have to win in the fourth quarter. So um, we might not have got to a hot start. We wanted to early on in the game, but uh, towards the end, we definitely didn't kind of pick it up a little bit. Take us through that touchdown and the reaction afterwards, knowing that it was probably a decisive one. Yeah, I mean, we kind of had a little crossing route to me. Uh, I think we missed one the first drive of the game where we you know, probably could have scored on. And then we came back to the swing play and we needed it um, in the fourth quarter. And Kyle did a great job you know, giving me the ball and offensive off off line as well. And the receivers made it some good routes. So it kind of get a little pick for me um, and come across the field. And then we knew the game wasn't over then, but no, I had uh, tremendous trust in our defense that uh, we would be fine. You know, where I can usually make a uh, Penn State defense and some of the hype surrounding Penn State going into this one. Do you feel like you guys had something to prove either offensively or defensively given the uh, series and what you guys have experienced? Uh, I mean, I think you kind of have a faceless opponent mindset. Um, no matter if the Denver Broncos come out there and step on the field, I think we're going to worry about ourselves and worry about how we can execute as an offense, and that's really more important. So we were obviously we had tremendous respect for their defense because um, you know, they're very well coached and have tremendous players, but uh, we knew we just had to worry about ourselves. Marvin, do you care about Heisman, like talk and respect, like kind of, that kind of stuff? I mean, it's a tremendous honor for a player to win that award, uh, I would say. But you're not motivated by that, like no. people talking about you in that kind of conversation. I mean, uh, the receiver to win it, I know Devontae won it uh, a couple years ago. Um, yeah, that during Kobe years, I think a lot had to go right for that to happen, but I'm not worried, worried about that. Uh, my goal was to be team on North this year and get to the Big Ten Championship. That's one thing I always want to do, so I'm trying to do. Marvin, how would you uh, compare or describe this team compared to the past? really, you know, impose their dominance? Um, I mean, I would say this team is, has a lot of experience, uh, especially offensively and defensively. So um, I think we're more battle-tested to where, you know, maybe years in the past where we kind of just blow teams out 
Um, you know, we're obviously trying to get to that point. We want to score 60 points to 60 to zero every game, but obviously that's not the case. So, you know, we're a team. You know, we're going to be battle tested and you know, we're going to fight to the end. That's just kind of our mindset. Does that concern you that you're not the kind of team that's going to, or that right now is not blowing teams out? Like uh, no, it doesn't concern me. Um, obviously, there's still a lot to work on and improve, but um, you know, usually in those matchup games, it's going to come down to the wire. So now we have two games under our belt against you know, top ten teams in the country. Where in the fourth quarter we need to make plays. So I think that's good for us going forward. Mark, what did this? What did this offense prove itself again today? Just like Notre Dame, when y'all needed the points you got, that drag route, the history. But what y'all just proved yourself? Yeah, you just got to stick with it. Stick with it. No matter you know how that first quarter went, how that first half went, um, continue to, you know, trust in ourselves and trust in the coaches. The coach did a tremendous job putting us in a position to make, to make plays, so, um, you know, just trust in ourselves is probably the biggest thing. Yeah, and when you looked up, uh, you may have been asked about this earlier, but uh, Cardinal Tate has basically a little drop, a little block that really sets you free. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, just speak of where he's coming on and what that play meant to this team. Yeah, I'm super proud of him, I think. The biggest play he made was getting the onside kick at the end of the game. Well, yeah. you know, we were kind of talking about it. Um, obviously, I'm on the right side. He's on the left side, so um, and I kind of knew that they're going to kick it to your side here. I probably uh, you know, get a chance for freshman to make a play to win again. That's not going to kick it to me, so just go out there. Um, you know, tremendous trust in yourself. And uh, he's put the work in. He definitely deserves you know, on all the praise that you know, he's given at the moment. Did it feel like a heavyweight fight to Every you? Time. I mean, explain what that feels like when you're in the middle of a game like that where every little thing counts. Yeah, it's like I said, it's going to be. Rarely is there going to be knockouts against going against Penn State. Look at the years past. It's always come down to that fourth quarter, so that last round. Uh, you know, you got to be just, you know, leave it all out there and swing as much as you can. Is there much different? I want to ask you, did you hear your new nickname today? The Maserati Mar? No, I haven't heard. No, I mean, I, get, I feel like I get new nicknames like every week now, but uh, it's great. Um, I don't know who, who came up with that just one. John Gus Johnson, of course, yeah. of course, Gus. Yeah. No, he's awesome. Well, I wanted to ask you, there were a couple of plays that just felt like you were wide open. That doesn't feel like that happens very often. Can you talk about that, what it's like? Like, you're like, oh my gosh, like, I feel so open. Like, you're playing free. You kind of no, it feels great. It feels great, definitely. Um, kind of had some you know, pick routes, like I said, for me. So, shout out to Coach Day and Coach Hartline. Uh, they did a tremendous job, you know, scheming me up a little bit to help me get open. Uh, like I said, I just try to do my part. Um, you know, if I get the ball wide, we'll get some little yards after catch and uh, do everything I can to keep the offense schedule. On the touchdown, how do you, how do you get to open on that one, the, the one with the crossing route? Um, I kind of, they were in man, I believe, and then I kind of made a move on the corner and uh, they kind of like passed me off those crossing routes usually get passed off. And then I think Cade uh, was running the other uh, drag concept with me, so we had a good mesh there. And uh, Cade did a tremendous job. And I think the linebackers uh, collided there and kind of getting wide open. Was there anything different about what the did to maybe try to take away this year than maybe what they were doing last year? Yeah, uh, the safety was definitely pushed a little heavier to my side um, this year. As far as, um, we only had that one deep ball. I don't think that came in. We ran uh, a heavy set with two tight ends. So uh, kind of got more zone in that look. Um, but other than that, I mean, they had the safety uh, pretty heavy to my side, especially when we go three by one to FSC to the field. And um, like I said, just probably just had to make the you know, routine plays underneath the slants or anything like that. G given where this offense is, how much responsibility do you feel to play the way you did today when maybe the run game's not, not there and that goes out? How much is on your shoulders? Uh, I mean, I think you can say a lot to my shoulders. That's my job at the end of the day. Um, you know, my teammates and coaches count on me to kind of be the focal point of the offense. and. Uh, each and every week, I know they're gonna lean on me, and the offense sometimes goes as I go. So that's what I just try to do my job and uh, help the offense go. Are you surprised they tried to maybe do a little bit more? Uh, no. Um, they've always had you know trust in their corners and you know, make plays. And, why would you not? Up to this point, you know, they've kind of had one of the best defensive stretches uh, going into this game. So um, I think they just trusted the corners. The 10 catches for 180 yards a year ago, maybe. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. That's, that's on them at that point. <laughs> when you're coming out of the tunnel for game and you're doing this thing with your dreads in front of your face, and you, yeah. do you have a name for that? No, it's just, I don't know. It's kind of, you know, me and Chris Hartley kind of joke about it. And then we put the mask on and then you kind of enter that villain mode and you kind of get into a different mind space for the game. And that's really what all it is for me. Uh, it's kind of something that started, uh, I think, last year, Michigan State. It was our first away game and uh, it was pretty cold that game. And uh, I went on to have, you know, obviously, one of my best games that year or that that season and kind of just stuck with me throughout.
Last two questions. Hey, Marv, I asked uh, Coach Day about your preparation. He said you've got a jug so you can control the button. Yeah, What's yeah, that? it's called the uh, the Seeker, uh, the company of Monarch. Yeah. It's helped me tremendous. Um, just, not even just me, but you know, other players as well. Uh, Xavier Johnson's out there a lot. You know, Mecca, Julian, uh, Reese Stocksdale, uh, just even DBs and running backs. So we're all out there um, just trying to get as much you know, work in as you can. Is that yours or? Who's no, that's the, the facilities, okay. I would say. You put in a lot of hours with that one? Yeah, I do. I would say I put in a lot of hours with that. Yeah, more of a field last question. A little bit strange to say this after such a great performance, but you know, knowing the standard that you set for yourself, is there anything today that you can come away with thinking, I need to get better at this, I need to improve at this for the rest of the season as you move forward? Uh, I have to watch the film, go back. Um, I think my perimeter blocking was where it needed to be uh, before this game, and that's something I've got to you know, fix moving forward. Um, but yeah, I just have to go back and watch the film and see uh, what we can do better.